first mission. Got to fit all that into those two tiny barrels over there. That was me.
bench thing with some weird thing hanging up. God knows what that is. You can see that. I don't know what that is over there. But something. It's like a, a shanty that someone built for some reason. It's even got a, uh, a kind of bed in there with a bottle of whiskey. Someone drunk, a big one. I would not want to sleep in there though, personally. And if you come over here, you've got remains of a house, which I'm guessing was for a hobbit. It even had something like pipe, water pipe system, if I look through it. That's what I mean by a hobbit, look.
Ginger tree. So in, it's on my first bear, and we're in the bear part of the journey now. Within about 10 minutes of being in the bear part of the journey, I saw a massive black bear about 10 foot from me. Then in those bushes over there, I'm absolutely certain I heard another bear because it sounded exactly like the one I saw. And it took me about an hour to set up my tent today. I was so jittery. And then you have things like this. You can see that. That's basically where the bear's been sharpening his claws. And so that's my head. So it gives you an idea of how big they are. All over the place, like again on that tree, that tree. So kind of all over the place. So we we'll have a fun night sleeping tonight. <laughs> Last 48 hours, it's rained for about 24 of them. It's uh, everything I've got is soaking. It stopped for about five minutes. I've got the tent. It's not raining again, so I've got this little hand with that. Uh, I'm going to try and start a fire in a bit if I can, which is probably doubtful considering everything is soaking wet. Uh, the only two people I've met 
on the river in the last three days. We've only seen two people. There were a couple of uh, German guys. And they said the weather's going to be a bit rubbish for the next two days. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't really want to stay here because it's a bit of a weird camp I've stayed at. Also, I think a bear came in my camp last night. It was making a heck of a racket. So, so yeah, hopefully the rain will stop in a bit and I can move on. I've got one going quite easily actually, but it keeps uh, kind of like flame on, flame off every time uh, you get the wet wood. It kind of like boils for a bit and then the flame dies down as the wet wood tries to warm up and then starts again. But we can get breakfast in the next probably half hour hopefully. Still raining, really raining. But filling up a cup of water at least is pretty easy. So I've got water on tap for the first time in three weeks. Uh, I don't think it's going to stop raining for a couple of days. So I'm thinking of maybe uh, adding a roof to my uh, canoe. So I'm going to give it another half hour. If it hasn't stopped raining, I'm going to start working on that and see how that turns out. Right. So pretty wet today, it's been raining non-stop, now it's stopped raining, but gotta have a fire ow, just by my feet. All the steam coming off my clothes and shoes. Yeah. That's how wet I am.
one thing I didn't think I was going to use, but thankful I brought it anyway, is the bandana. So obviously it's got its pluses and minuses. First, it can make you look like a 1980s rock star. It can make you look like a uh, 1990s uh, uh, rap artist, kind of. It can uh, make you look like a, a cowboy, and it can uh, you can you can fasten it to make it look like a kind of like an Arab look. But good thing about a bandana is. Since the white rivers join the Yukon, you can see the water has turned really dirty and silty. And so I'm going to use a filter later today to um, filter some of the silt out before I boil it so I can drink it. Uh, alternative is you can use a sock, but I've only bought three pairs of socks and I would prefer to drink water straight from the river rather than filter through one of those at the moment. So, uh, so we'll see how that goes later today. Yeah, dark day again today. Where's the sun?